What do dreams about cinema mean? If you find yourself in a movie house in your dream and you're watching a movie, getting all into it, your dream is not about the movie house. Your dream is not even about the film that you're watching. Instead, it's much broader. It's about the cinematic experience. So make sure that your dream is all about the experience of being in the movie and, um, and uh, how the movie plays out as you enjoy it. It's not about the specifics of the film you're watching or specific architectural or some sort of component of the movie house. I just wanted to make this clear because this interpretation and analysis is about the cinematic experience in your dream. So let's dive right in. What do dreams about cinema mean? It's all about the context. At the end of the day, you need to pay close attention to the specific details and try to compare them with each other, try to put them next to each other as they appear in your dreams or to the best that you can remember so you can piece together an analysis that would actually make sense. What does it mean to dream of a movie theater? If your main experience in the dream is of you moving, moving into the movie theater space and just looking around and just feeling comfy or cozy, this can symbolize that you need entertainment. Now, it may seem pretty basic and banal and commonplace, but you'd be surprised because a lot of people live their lives around their work and they forget all about their need to take a break. Now, you may be thinking, well, I play video games all day or I, I do certain things that make me feel good. Well, it has to be conscious. It has to be an extension of your psychological need for boundaries. That's the kind of entertainment I'm talking about. Because at the end of the day, if there is no real escapism or fantasy and you just tend to kind of blur the lines in your daily routine, don't be all that surprised when work or money issues take over your life. So draw clear lines and understand that it's perfectly okay to have a fantasy life, you know, where you kill dragons or you um, go into space. And uh, this form of es escapism, just like uh, dreaming at night, is a way for you to psychologically replenish, rejuvenate, and get your bearings. It's perfectly okay to do this. You're not wasting your time. You're not, you're not wasting resources. In fact, if you look at it closely enough, it's absolutely necessary because you need some time off, not, not just physically, not just financially, but spiritually and emotionally as well. That's, uh, that's how uh, you can separate entertainment from just mere excitement or stimulation. What does it mean to dream of watching a movie? If the main focus of your dream is not the movie itself, but you watching the movie, again, this is a cinema dream interpretation. Focus on the experience. This indicates that your subconscious is letting you know that your ability to become more self-aware is growing. Now, you may be thinking, how would I know that? Or I'm not even conscious of that. And that's precisely the case because we're so busy or we're so focused on certain areas of our lives that we become blind to when our deep personal and crucial skills like self-awareness actually become more polished and developed and maybe was triggered by um, a recent, by recent trauma. Maybe somebody in your life passed on, maybe you went through a breakup or there's some issues at work, whatever the case may be, Usually, in the middle of a fire or the middle of a disaster, there is something good to be had. And in many cases, it's a deeper level of self-awareness. So when your dream shows you this image of you watching a dream, so you're seeing yourself watching a movie, pay close attention. This is, in, this is indicating a deeper level of self-awareness. Go with that, run with that, develop uh, deeper and deeper levels of self-awareness. And this can pay off in other areas of your life. At the very least, you're less stressed, you can see the big picture, and you're more mentally and emotionally prepared for whatever life has in store for you. What does it mean to dream of being in a movie? Again, the focus here is of seeing yourself being in a movie, not 
living out the movie, because that's a, a different dream analysis. If this is the case, then your dreaming can suggest that you are playing a role that has gone out of control. Have you ever talked to somebody and they tell a very interesting story, so you kind of incorporate the story as you listen to them, and it makes the story even richer because the person can see that you're engaged, so they level up in terms of uh, their narration. Uh, so this two-way exchange of both words and emotion with that, emotions with that person becomes some sort of personal communion. You're exchanging ideas and you're exchanging energy and vibrations. I don't mean to be all metaphysical, but this is all too real. And the problem is when you just so get into other people's narratives, unless you're careful, you, you become infected with mind viruses. I know that's kind of a harsh way to put it, but never ever underestimate the influence of people around you, especially if you watch a lot of social media, if you follow certain accounts on social media, and don't be all that surprised when some of their ideas actually become core assumptions of yours. Crazy stuff. I know we all like to, would like to think that we're all independently minded and that we, we know if we're being deceived. You're more than welcome to convince yourself that that's how you operate, but all of us are suggestible. All of us can be manipulated. So if you see yourself being in a movie, you're witnessing yourself playing out in the movie, it, it may indicate that you're basically engaged in some sort of live action role playing of somebody else's ideas. So a little bit of self-awareness can go a long way and, and understand that, that there is a boundary between where your ego starts and where influence begins. So know where that boundary is and take control over it because this is your life. This is our, these are your de um, decisions. So when you think strongly or feel strongly about a certain issue, make sure that it actually comes from a deep place. Make sure that you're not just being carried along by the emotions and the mind viruses or, uh, by the, uh, suffered by the people around you. What does it mean to dream of making a movie? If the main focus of your dream is the movie making process, sit up and pay attention. Your subconscious is trying to tell you that your creative process could use some work. Maybe you need to be a little bit more deliberative or purposeful. Whatever the case may be, your subconscious is trying to communicate to you that you're not packing as much imagination into what you're doing. Now, I don't care whether your work is completely uncreative, so to speak, because if, if you ask me, there's really no such thing as jobs or career that is free of creativity. Even if you're an accountant, for example, and you're just counting beans all day, every day, there's a lot of space for creativity there. You can be more efficient with um, the, the right amount of creativity. You can always connect the dots in a different way that can lead to breakthroughs. So don't for a second think that there is no space for creativity in what you're doing. Well, if you see yourself making a movie in your dream, your subconscious is telling you that you're not packing as much imagination there. And this is actually a, a warning sign because it's so easy for people to stagnate in whatever they do for a living. Since a lot of Americans uh, define themselves based on what they do for a living, this can be a serious problem. It may turn out that you are living out some sort of prison sentence because you refuse to be more imaginative. You refuse to push against your comfort zone to chart new territory or break things and reassemble things. Don't be afraid to break things. Things are not as permanent as you think. And because usually when there is some sort of a healthy, uh, well, there, well there, when there is some, some healthy level of a healthy destruction, so to speak, you're able to piece things together in a different way and you might actually become more efficient, more effective. So give it a shot. Don't think that there's only one way to do things in many areas of your life. And when you do so, you become more spontaneous and life becomes richer and more exciting. Just a quick reminder, if you are enjoying this video, please click the like button and hit subscribe. 
please be sure to click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our updates. Thanks a lot. Now, back to our dream analysis. What does it mean to dream of a movie star? Again, you're taking a third-person perspective and you see yourself dreaming of a movie star or interacting with a movie star. When you are experiencing this kind of dream, it symbolizes that you admire or wish to possess certain qualities of people. And it's kind of getting to the point where you are beginning to obsess. I'm not talking about celebrity worship. There's a dream interpretation for that uh, in this channel that's separate. I'm talking about you trying to hang on to and absor observe as well as absorb the confidence, charisma, or other personal character features of other people because you think that will make you more successful. What you're really doing is quite obvious. You're being envious. You have to understand that you have your own personality. And if you are thinking that somebody is confident, you can choose to be confident in your own way based on your own circumstances and experiences. You don't necessarily have to wholesale grab what they have because that's not how life works. Your confidence, at least the one that is optimal for you, is a product of your own lived experience. The same with charisma or even something broad as success. So the, the key here is to avoid wholesale importation of other people's traits because, it's, because life is not some sort of costume. Instead, life is like a skin. It, it, it grows organically and it looks and feels a certain way because of the life you have lived up to that point. Think of it that way. Otherwise, if, if you're going to be dreaming of, of being a movie star, you're basically just trying to be a chameleon and, and, uh, and, and blend into somebody else's reality. That is not only a waste of time, but it can also be quite dangerous as far as your mental health goes. What does it mean to dream of a movie set? If you're focused on a movie set, uh, you, what, what your subconscious is telling you is that you are too focused on appearances. You might want to look beyond what you see. You might want to be curious uh, behind the scenes. And the problem with this is that you're obsessing so much about how you present yourself to the world that you may be neglecting very important issues like substance. You have to understand that you can fake it until you make it. You know, that, that, that is a tried and proven strategy. No shame in that game. But at some point, you have to be authentic. At some point, you have to come out and be who you really are. So instead of just trying to fake things and try to be trying to pretend to be something that you're not, start with the truth. Start with the firm foundation of who you are, who you wish to be, and the sacrifices that you need to make to be that person. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be to, to, you're going to be accountable to yourself. You're going to be asking yourself all these questions right before they put you six feet in the ground. What kind of life did you live? Did you prioritize truth? Were you authentic to yourself? Were, were you living for something higher and bigger than yourself? Or were you just another face in the crowd? Another empty detail in the long march of life to somewhere, anywhere? And unfortunately, that's the kind of questions, those are the kinds of questions that only you can answer. So do yourself a big favor and, and, and focus on authenticity. Focus on going beneath the surface. Appearances are important. Let, let's, we can all agree on that. But go a little bit deeper. Because substance at the end of the day is what matters. And authenticity matters a lot. What does it mean to dream of a movie premiere? Imagine yourself in a movie premiere with bright spotlights, a lot of A-list celebrities, tons of paparazzi and professional media people. It's a mess, but at the same time, it's a beautiful mess because among the, all the commotion is this tremendous amount of media attention. This is your sense of personal drama and need for validation manifesting itself in dream symbology. This is not necessarily bad. This is not necessarily a negative thing because we all need to feel validated. We all need at some level or other to feel 
that we are the center of the universe, that no matter how anonymous we may feel in many areas of our life, at the end of the day, when you die, at least as far as you are concerned, that world ended with you because you're no longer perceiving the universe. You're no longer sensing all this stimuli that the world sends your way. So this sense of a centralized need for validation manifests itself in this type of dream, the movie premiere with all its glitz and glamour. What kind of practical lesson can you get out of it? Well, first of all, you can create your own validation. Because if you are too dependent on other people, people that you cannot control, people who can change their minds quickly, you're going to be disappointed again and again. So at the very basic level of dream analysis for movie premieres, build something that you can have a premiere about. So for example, with your body, be healthier, eat better, hit the gym, adopt a healthier lifestyle. When it comes to your finances, live within your means. Set aside money to grow in the form of investments. When it comes to your personal knowledge, make it a point to read one book a month, at least. There are so many things you can do, but none of this is instantaneous. None of this is as grandiose and in your face as a movie premiere, but believe me, Small things that accumulate in value and that scale up over time can become unstoppable once you get into the flow. Once you get into that sense of momentum, everything will fall into place and you can then feel a tremendous uh, a sense of validation. And best of all, it's something that cannot be taken away from you because it's something that comes from within you. It's something that you worked on. It's something that reflects your changed mindset as to who you want to be and where you want to go. What does it mean to dream of a movie marathon? If you see yourself in your dream just glued to your seat and you're just watching movie after movie, maybe it's Netflix, maybe it's HBO, or maybe it's an actual movie theater, sit up and play and sit up and pay attention. What this is showing you when you're watching multiple movies in a row is that you are feeling overwhelmed. This is the worst form of escapism because you're just reading your reality into that screen. You're not changing its script. You're not acting in it. You're not taking part in any way. Instead, you just open wide your mind and you just let them regurgitate all that stuff into your head. Now, one movie is probably fine. Two movies is stretching it, but a movie marathon? Forget about it. Your subconscious is telling you that at some point, level or in its, and in some area of your life, you're feeling overwhelmed. There's a tremendous amount of overstimulation, which can lead you to suspect that you're escaping something because you wouldn't allow yourself to be overstimulated unless some area of your life is not giving you the stimulation or the challenge you need, or it's just simply too scary. The key here is to stop escaping and achieve a healthy balance. And you, you won't be able to do that uh, unless you come clean, look for imbalance in your life and then focus on the stuff that's hard. This is called eating the frog, you know, take care of the hardest task first and then everything else will fall into place. I know it's a hassle. I know you'd rather sweep it under the rug or even deny that it exists at all, but you need to deal with it. Maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's a close friend. Maybe it's a health issue. Whatever form it takes, you will need to deal with it. Eat the frog. Take care of it now. I know it's not appetizing. It's a, a hassle. It's a pain in the butt. But the sooner you take care of it, the, the sooner you will achieve balance in your life. Thanks for watching this video. We appreciate your support. If you have, if you have not done so already, please click the like button and hit subscribe. Please be sure to click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our updates. If you have any dreams you'd like us to interpret and analyze, please leave them in the comments. We read every comment, so don't be shy. To support our mission of helping people all over the world live their best lives by tapping the power of their dreams, please click the share button and share this video on all your social media accounts. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you in the next one. Have a good one.